uh, we're looking at Ubuntu for phones. You'll, you'll see, uh, first thing we want to note is that it's, it is Ubuntu and it's the Unity interface, the same uh, as we run on the desktop, modified for the phone. Uh, the UI design is, doesn't require any dedicated hard or soft buttons. It's uh, oriented around an edge swipe to do your navigation. So the first thing we see here is the home screen. Uh, which is a visual representation of what's going on in your life with your phone. From here, I can I can see my most uh, frequently used applications. I can come here to the right edge, and I can go to my my home screen. Let's go there now. So the home is shows me all my recent activity, uh, the applications and the, the media that I've been looking at. There's different views here. One for my applications again my open applications, frequently used, and even things available for download. You can go further over here and see videos. I can see music. And I can see people. And, and this is my list of contacts and all the interactions I'm having with them for phone calls and messaging and even uh, updates from something like a Facebook site. And I can click through here and get directly into my Facebook app. Notice the, the applications, we have both HTML and uh, native applications using Qt and QML. The HTML is shown here at the same level, the Facebook app is at the same level as any native application. We can go here to, to our native gallery application, which is a, a nice interface for all my photos. I can scroll vertically and horizontally. And at the bottom, if I do a bottom swipe, the bottom edge shows me the tools that are available within that context. So I don't have to waste that real estate unless I really want to do something. So for example, if I open a photo and I want to share it, I can share it to my friends and send a message and I'm all set. Then while I'm in my application, I can also change uh, my settings and configuration. So from the top edge, I just swipe down and I have an option to go to my various settings interfaces. So I can see my, my battery, my networks, just dismiss it and I'm right back to my application that I was working in. If I go to messages, again, this is interactive. I can go right here and I can click on a message and I can reply to it, go back to what I was doing. In order to multitask and go between applications that I have running, I go to the right edge and I just swipe and I just cycle through all my running applications. Then to get back to my home, I swipe from the left and I'm brought back to my applications view. So everything's available with a single swipe. It's all very easy and all very consistent without the need to go to the home button or anything like that. Do you know uh, when you might get one of those phones finished in the store? Yeah, our, our goal is we'd like to see something uh, available by the end of the year, nice. if not early next year. Cool. Do you have like concrete uh, partners for, for achieving that goal at this moment? We, we haven't announced any partners, but we have uh, obviously discussions underway. Right. Cool. Thanks a lot for the demo. All right, you're welcome. Thank you.